All right, guys, let's go ahead and begin today's lesson in case you were absent, whatever. Um, so here's what we did today in class. We're working on Bellwork. So you click on weekly agenda. You see that we're working on the physical map and Bellwork today. So Thursday, Bellwork, and the map page three, which is our physical book. So let's look at our Bellwork. We're going to see that these words are going to be doing the examples. Now for a political map, it's kind of a weird way to do um, examples for this one because the map in my back room of all the world that I've showed you guys before that's a political map and the title would be map of the world so putting map of the world would work for political and then all you just need to find me two other maps like that so like map of the United States and map of Africa those would all be considered because there are maps of the United States and Africa that are political in our history books that we're going to be working on then you have physical map which is Kind of the same thing only shows a physical feature. So a physical map of the world, a physical map of Africa, and a physical map of the United States would work just as well. So it's almost like you're using the same thing over again. Um, so, yeah, they could work. Equator. If I was to tell you, find me another equator on Earth, you couldn't do it. There's only one equator. So there really aren't other examples of equator. Now, if you want to get technical, equator is a latitude line, so other latitude lines would work. But you can also put none. That will take zero, or there are no examples there. Prime meridian, same thing. There's only one prime meridian in the world, so there's only one. So other examples, would there be? There would be none. Now, if you want to get technical with it, it'd be other longitude lines. But it's up to you. Do you want to be technical with it or not? It's up to you. All right, so that's how I'm going to do the bell works. You should be kind of done with them. Uh, we went over the must-haves today, too, as well, so I'll go over a couple of those. Political map, if you look at what political maps are, um, you would see that they're very colorful. So if we go here, political map. You can see how they're colorful. I know we did this one the other day in my video, so you can see how colorful they are. If we go to physical maps, you can see how not colorful they are. So that's kind of how I would describe them. If you're looking at latitude and longitude, or uh, equator and prime meridian, you look at what we did last week for latitude and longitude lines. Just use that as your must have. And then lastly, if you want to just add images, that's on you. Um, and then turn in when you're done. So come up to the canvas page, go all the way down, turn in the work, and you should be good for that. Today's notes all right today's notes we went over physical map yesterday you're supposed to do the political map so if we look back at our notes you're supposed to color uh, these in using the draw feature if you did it online or if you actually have it on paper just take a color and color these in now we're going to be focusing on the physical map over here so let me get back to the pointer so we're going to be focusing on this map over here all right so let me zoom in so you guys can see it better all right, so this map is of the Middle East. So we're trying to find a physical map of the Middle East. And that's what I found here in my Google search is a physical map of the Middle East. Problem is, if you look at them, they're kind of dull and they're not very well colorful and labeled. So even if you go to the next ones, they're all just kind of okay. Like this one's more of a actually political than it is physical. It does have physical features, but you can clearly see the outlines and stuff. So if you go scroll down, it's hard to really find some good ones. This one's not a bad one, so you can pause it on this one and do it later. Um, you can just follow along with me on the notes like I did in class today. So in class today, I showed them this part of the map. So let me get a good one. There you go. So this is the Middle East. You have Syria, Turkey, Iran, Iraq, Saudi Arabia, Jordan, Israel, uh, Palestine, that area. We're going to be focusing on this major part of it. We're doing mountain ranges. To do mountain ranges on a map, if you're doing this on paper, you don't have to use a color. You can use pencils. You can use color. It doesn't have to be. Political, yes, you want color. Over here, you don't need it. But I'm going to use color just because I can use the draw features. I'm going to create the Zagros Mountains that are going to be focused around this area. If we look at this image, there they are. So the Zagros Mountains are on this northern part of Turkey, Iraq, and Iran. So my draw feature up to do mountain ranges in the booklet, what I told the kids is how we do map or how we do mountains is generally triangles, like right? zigzag triangles. So if you're doing this on paper, you can just do little triangles in this area. If you're going to do it on a draw feature, you can use black, or if you want to use the same color, that's fine. So let me get the draw. Bam. All right. I need to. Why? There we go. So just boom, boom, mountain ranges all up here. These are the Zagros Mountains. All right. Boom, Zagros Mountains are done. All right, now we're going to look at the next feature up here. If we go back to the map, you can kind of see here that, if we zoom in a little bit, there is actually rivers right here. These are the Tigris and Euphrates rivers. 
So we go here, we're gonna go rivers, and since rivers are blue, I'm gonna actually just go blue then. So I'll make a sky blue, light blue there. We're gonna start down right here. This is the mouth of them. So that's where they come up. Now you see that they're gonna come up this way. One pretty much follows the mountain ranges and the other goes the other way, kind of giving you a V-like shape here. So if you look here, you see the V-like shape there. Uh, it doesn't have to be perfect, no, but at least something like that. So there we go. So we got the Tigris and Euphrates rivers. And lastly, uh, we're going to be doing a desert. I'm going to make it yellow like the sand. If we look up in the map, you see here all this kind of yellow is desert. You see how desert is pretty much running all of Saudi Arabia, UAE, Oman, Yemen, uh, most of Iraq, Kuwait, Jordan. So all that's pretty much a desert-like climate. So here all we need to do is take our color. I'd go bigger and just kind of shade in this area. All right. So however you shade it in, now if you're going to do this with a regular pencil, just do a light shade. Don't need to go too dark on this. Um, if you're going to color in with other colors, that's fine. So you can do this with a pencil. You can just make zigzags right there, draw two lines, and then kind of shade in this bottom area to show me that this is where the desert is at. All right. You don't need color pencils to do a physical map. You don't have to. Um, you can if you want. All right. So that is how we do the map part. The last part of our notes, it says down here, it says a physical map shows us. Well, we go to our notes, go down, a physical map shows us physical features such as mountains, rivers, etc. So I can copy and put down below here, right there. And that's not what it is, but okay. But you get the point. So if I go here, I would just copy this kind of stuff over. That's all I really need to do to put over into that um, notes. And these notes are on Canvas, so you can download them if you want, or you can just pause it right there and then fill it out as you go. All right, so today you needed to get bell work done, which I just went over earlier. The map three, which I just got done doing, okay, coloring the map here. So this one should be colored all different colors like we talked about, okay, should be all different colors, okay. This one should be roughly like that. Now, if you did this on paper, you can do this one, the physical map, with just a pencil. The other one does that need to be color. So make sure you get that done. Uh, if you need to get a hold of me, please let me know. I have Teams up. I have email. So please let me know. If you have any questions, please email me. Or well, what's going on in case something goes wrong, something didn't work. Okay, let me know so I know what's going on. Other than that, all right, have a good one.